Welcome to Nephi Paints, and in this video I'll be painting the Necron Warrior. Let's crack in. I've undercoated the Warrior with brush on primer from the Army Painter. First colour here is Gun Metal from the Army Painter. I've applied this with two thin coats, and this will give us a base for when we chip the armour. Now using an old brush, I've put on some liquid mask from Vallejo and stippled that onto the edges of the model. Try to be careful not to make a uniform pattern around the model. The liquid mask dries like any other paint, so once you finish painting it, you can move on to the next colour with no problems. Now it's time for the first base coat colour. This is Squig Orange from Citadel, and I've applied this with two thin coats over the entire model. To paint the shoulder pads, the panels on the arms and the legs and the face, I've gone with Talan Sand from Citadel and this is applied with two thin coats. For the weapon I've gone with a baton black from Citadel, I've applied this with a little water and I've gone with two thin coats. With all the base coats down, now it's time to remove the paint and reveal the chips. I've done this with a small stippling brush. Using the stippling brush, I'm pressing quite firmly to remove the liquid mask underneath. Once the liquid mask starts to be removed, it does reveal the silver that we base coated the model with and gives the model a nice weathered and damaged appearance. Once you've removed all the liquid mask, this is the result you're left with. With the model quite bright at the moment, I've needed to bring back the colour a bit, so I've dulled it down with Nuln Oil from Citadel. After applying the wash, I've realised that the model's quite boring to look at, so I've decided to paint some basic freehand onto the model. I've done this with Abaddon Black from Citadel, mixed with a little water to help the paint flow. For the skull, I've gone with a vertical line with a couple of horizontal lines just to break it up a little bit, and a few little circles on each side. For the rest of the body, I've just gone with basic circles, and just joined those with lines, just to show some sort of circuits or Necron iconography. It's very basic freehand, but it breaks up the Talan sand and the model a little bit. Thank you. 
With the freehand completed, now it's time to give a bit of detail to the gun. I've done this with gun metal from the Army Painter. So I've painted the coils, the handle to the gun, the little plate on top of the gun, and other little random bits around the weapon. This will help break up the black and give a bit of colour to the weapon. Now it's time to lay down the base coat before the Tesseract Glow and this will be done with Corax White from Citadel. For the pipes I've painted straight from the pot and given them two thin coats. For the rest of the white I've made a 50-50 mix of Corax White and water and I've just run this into the cracks and crevices of the model. Adding the white beforehand will give it a good base to the model before painting on the Tesseract Glow. After I've applied the white, it's time to highlight the model. Now I've gone for a real basic highlight here. I've just gone with the colours I used earlier. So with the orange, I've gone back to squig orange. The sand colour, I've gone back to the Talan sand. And for the black, I've made a 50-50 mix of Abaddon black and Corax white. They're very subtle highlights. You could probably skip this, or if you really want them to stand out, I suggest adding a little bit of white to each paint. Now it's time to paint the Tesseract Glow from Citadel. This is one of their technical paints. With the Tesseract Glow, the first thing I do is lay two thin coats of the colour onto all the white areas. To achieve a slight object light source around the model, I water down the Tesseract Glow to a 50-50 mix just with water. I've applied this paint to all parts of the model that are white, and just slowly build it up over time, applying layer after layer. If you find it's getting a bit too dark, Lay some more white down and just build up the Tesseract Glow again.
The last thing to do to the model is go around and just fix up any touch-ups or parts you might have missed. Mount it on a base of your choice and he's ready for the tabletop. And here he is, ready for the tabletop. Thanks for watching Nafie Paints. If you liked the video, please click the sub button or leave me a like. If there's anything you'd like to see in a future video, please leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch ya!